I don't expect anything crazy. Maybe it'll be crazy. Stick around. We'll find out. Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I am super pumped to be doing none other than the accessory set. Ugh, the hardest one to find. Everybody wants it. And I am so pumped to be opening this thing and be able to use like maybe 10% of it because I don't have half the figures that it belongs to with all the extra things. And you know what? <laughs> Let's just get into it. But first, you noticed my new background. Well, that was kind of you. Thank you. You know what? I'll get out of the way and let you take a look. Are you done yet? Steve, come on. All right, one more second. Jeez, just learn to hit pause, boy. All right, so here we go. We've got the fantastic looking set, which is pretty much everything that's on the front of this cover, isn't it? Plus some extra stuff. So let's just get into it, man. Why do I just keep talking? Just do it. What are we doing? God, it's a review channel, not a listen to Jonathan talk channel. <laughs> so great, we got the logo, we got some awesome artwork again. Downside is you got the variant colors that were really just classic to the marketing of Ninja Turtles, the animated series, but uh, they never made figures that way. So it's true to marketing false to reality of what you get in the box. But all these little details, we got the books under there, we got the game on there, we got the VCR, we got the baby uh, pizza monster. Then all this good stuff. Stuff is good, good stuff like it. Me time. <laughs> Super Nintendo, clearly, but then these uh, weird joystick style things like an Atari. Now, top of the box, logo, warning, soon. My cat's getting into some stuff and I don't know what it is. Stuff, where were we? Bottom of the box, that's the good stuff, man. Look at that, soak it up. Remember those names, like that one. Thank you, NECA, for doing that. Side of the box, mm -hmm. boring. <laughs> side of the box, boring, but on the other side. Back of the box, now we're getting into the good stuff. Look at that, accessories that come for figures that we don't have, that I don't have, so that's a bummer. Then figures and accessories that are actually in this box, so that is good. That backpack, I do have that figure, so that's helpful. Uh, I don't have this guy, so I can't use that, and then I think there's a helmet in here, and then I do have that guy, because that's the same that guy that I have from second ago. <laughs> and then all of that, it does come included, so you have to show the stuff off, I guess, but it's a bummer that uh, if you don't have the figures, you have accessories that don't really work for the rest of them. And then the accessories include stuff that I'll forget about, so I'll read it when I do the overview. So let's open it. You ready? Looking good. Looking sideways. Oh. And then, uh, you know, a lot of plastic glare, so that's no fun. Let's take this plastic off. There, that's better. Isn't that better? Look at this, I don't have Bebop or Rocksteady, so I don't get to take advantage of some of these accessories or Baxter Stockman. But I do have a little TV. <gasps> Why don't I just take it out of this plastic? Why do I even... Ugh. <sighs> okay, I uh, couldn't get the turtles to... <laughs> what, whatever. You think that by being in a box, I could have put them out like the box was, but whatever, we're here, and it's kind of all over the place. But well, let's get into it. And how many times an episode do I say let's get into it? So, included in the box, we have Baby Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo, Raphael, Big Mac, video game console, TV with interchangeable screens, cheese painting, pizza box with a pizza inside, two VHS tapes, Backpack, Ray Gun, Turtle Tracker, Star of Hoboken, Baby Pizza Monster, Rocksteady Helmet, Blowtorch, and multiple baby weapons. And if you're keeping count and listening to what this guy said because I read the box, you'll know there's only one VHS and two Pizza Monsters, so they did that backwards. I think there are probably too many VHSs throughout all the sets, so not a big deal. This one is unique to have a yellow block on it compared to what came with Rex 1. And I don't know what the other ones were, but they exist. If anything, I think a little video game to stick in the console would be nice. But anyway, that's all the stuff. Let's look at the details. All right, so here we go with Big Mac. I love it already, but it's just everything from the animated 
series stuff that I, I've been in love with. As soon as I pick it up, I'm like, dang, even if it's a figure I don't really care about, like Big Mac, ultimately not something I'm really here for with the accessory set, but it's beautiful. Details are fantastic. We'll look at articulation. Seems like he's got a little bit, but nothing too crazy, but the line work and apparently it is all hand done. So thank you to the, all of those people. And I'm sorry, because that's tedious. A uh, little VHS tape. So it's similar to what we've gotten in the past, but this one's got the little yellow block in the center, which I do like, it's just no label. This piece, which should replace the rocket or laser or whatever the heck is on top of Big Mac. So that would come off. This would go in place of it, as you can see clearly the same shape all of these pictures let's look at that so for the tv you get all of these different scenes fun stuff i dig it oh look at that that's pretty fun so just nice little things to have for backdrops on that tv but as my friend and fellow content creator mo from moscato bot collects suggested making our own and putting different games and different movies and stuff and I don't know if you can tell this, but I am a fan of the Alien and Aliens films. <laughs> so stuff like that, old video games, you know, some Mario Brothers or something, some Super Mario Brothers, since it kind of looks like a Super Nintendo. Yeah, we can just make our own and just print it out on some cardstock. So be on the lookout, follow me on social media because I will post that file and I'll make it av available to everybody. So like if, if you have Super 7 stuff and you want Moe's backdrop and bar and stuff, I'll send you the files. I drew it up myself, but you can have it. Game console. I dig it. It actually has why, though. Is anybody else wondering why there's a hole in the back of this? Like they would actually have a cord? And what can we use in the real world to make that cord look like it's attached? Bottom of the TV, too. There's two holes there. Hmm. So maybe they planned for it, and then they were like, eh, just don't worry about it. Anyway, details, it's simple, it's basic, it's animated, so you wouldn't have a ton of details, but the fact they put these little bumps on the bottom of it, so it kind of technically sits up off of the TV or whatever you put it on, so that's cool. Um, just line work, nice little details on the back of the cartridge. I love it. And the little joysticks. So two of these fully attached, but they look good. I like the, the buttons. You can't actually play anything on it, so that's a bummer. The TV looking Fantastic, obviously you put one of those screens in there, it's gonna look even better, but look at that VCR, baby. And obviously all of us that are collecting this stuff still remember what a VCR is. <laughs> Imagine growing up where you don't even know what a DVD is. We're so old. Back of the TV, just fine details that, you know, you wouldn't really expect because it's the backside, but it's good. The books look really good, <laughs> oh baby. Love it, love it, love it. This comes out, that comes off. You could just do this if you wanted to. Just have a TV, use your VCR for something else. A little harder to use it in other places because it does have that peg in the bottom and of course on the top. So if you wanted to reuse this, maybe it gets a little tricky doing that. But nice option that you can do that in the first place. Uh, if you take this thing apart, you can slide in the film pieces back there, and then it's just got all these little peg spots, which uh, apparently causes some issues if you want to modify this thing and put your own little light behind it. Hmm. It's a good idea. So with the TV, obviously you can actually like put the VHS in there, which is really cool. And it just... Oh. Whoa. Oh, hey. Um, all right. So <laughs> I guess I'm in here now? Um, can I... Oh, there's still a me up there. Okay, so can me up there finish this review? I'm stuck. Uh, cool. So video game, we, where are we at? Where were we? What were we doing? Mouser, uh, you've probably seen it before. It's the same again, but if you missed out on it in other packs, there you go. You got an extra Mouser. The turtle tracker looking good. Real good, actually. The details on this are probably some of the best in the pack so far. Look at that. My God. It's all the wires and stuff, which are technically pliable, bendable in a, in a sense. This doesn't come out or anything. It kind of looks like it would. Nothing moves on it, but fantastic. Wow. Really good job, team. Uh, pizza, I'm sure we've seen these pizzas before somewhere, right? They always release pizza. 
with everything over and over and over again. But I like that this box is actually on a hinge. It's a harder plastic than what we get from the movie stuff, which, you know, the movie stuff should be paper or cardboard or whatever. Um, it's got a nice texture on the inside. Like there's like a matte finished thing on the inside of that. It's interesting, but looking good. Of course, we got the painting of cheese, which fantastic. I'm sure it's just a screen grab or something. And then it actually has a little spot in the back so you can really hang it up. So that's nice. Star of Hoboken, pretty simple. It's a little bit transparent, but doesn't really come off that much. And it's got, there's a little bubble in there. I got an air bubble in mine. No big deal though. Didn't buy the accessory set for this either, but it looks good. We got the ray gun looking super detailed, of course. I mean, come on, man. Why would they stop the details all of a sudden? <laughs> Right? All this stuff looks good. It's hand done. We got two pizza monsters, which, you know, is too, too many in my opinion. A blowtorch, which looks real nice. Again, good details. It's bendable, which is uh, important, I think. Uh, little weapons, we'll just kind of get through this quick, right? The weapons are pretty simple. They don't seem to the appropriate scale of each other, but maybe I'm wrong. The nunchucks, simple, basic, super tiny. The sword, again, basic and tiny, but they still get all the line work in there. It's like, how the heck did you do that? How did you get these tiny little lines in there? And the piece that should have come with the Bebop and Rocksteady set in the first place, uh, and apparently is a, a few years too late, but you know, better late than never, I suppose. But for me, don't have them, whatever, who wants it? 100 bucks. <laughs> Shouldn't have said I wanted it. All right, so. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm an idiot. Alternate head for Baxter where he's got Shredder's helmet on. It looks awesome. God, I just love these details, man. The glasses, they could probably, you could probably pull them out, but I don't want to do that and ruin it. I guess that's it. Just kidding. We'll talk about the turtles now. This is what we're all here for. Look at that. They're so dang cute and apparently impossible to stand or sit up. <laughs> Good God, it looks so good. It's so good. And I wonder what their, why their, what their reasoning was. <laughs> why they're, what they're, who they're, huh? Who's the what's it? Why did they choose to go back to the dark green on this? Instead of the bright green, it seems to be the new thing for them. Uh, the bright green is kind of nice. I do prefer the dark green. So I am glad that that's what we get here. But, you know, that space Donatello, he looks like he's the bright green and I, I like the dark green. So what's the deal, NECA? <laughs> but, ugh, man, so tiny, so cute, but they can't hold their weapons in their belts or anything, which is a little bit of a bummer. They have to either just not have them at all around them or have them in their hands. But dang it, look at that. It's so good. A little wheel baby wolf whale. I do kind of hate that his teeth aren't visible. But maybe because he's a baby, he wouldn't have any. So they don't have any teeth. They're not really smiling or, or grinning or whatever. But good God, it's the that's it's worth it. How much is a set? 50 bucks, 60 bucks. Yeah, just for four turtles. It's crazy. But here we are. We did it. Oh, <laughs> I could have pretended like I already talked about this and then just went back to it. But whatever, we're here. We're looking at the backpack. How could I forget? It's like, come on, man, just get on the next thing. Get into articulation and posing. That's the fun stuff. Well, okay, fine. Backpack is over. Let's get into the articulation. Jeez. So Big Mac, man, what kind of articulation you got? You got some basic, I mean, you're a robot. You move like a robot. So the arms kind of move around, but they're on like a little bit of a ball hinge thing. So that's nice. That's okay. I see you, Big Mac. <laughs> What's the extra secret sauce? I'm stupid. The head, um, it's that's the articulation. It's got something in there. Oh, you can rotate it around like this. But you can't really go left and right with it. Just kind of whatever. The back piece pops right off when you're trying to do articulation incorrectly. Uh, you can't bend it in any way. You can only rotate it on this back hinge connection connecty PC thing. Why are you guys watching this channel? Uh, we can take that out and make him a good boy that doesn't want to kill turtles or whatever his, his business is. How do you all remember all of these episodes? There is a right and a wrong way to put this in. 
That's the right way. And it looks like the coloring is off. Ew. So, yeah, a little bit of a bummer. So I think that's coming across on camera, but this little piece has a little bit more of a yellow finish to it than Big Mac does. So that's kind of a bummer, man. I honestly didn't even know I could zoom this lens. I am such an idiot. Uh, so we got this little body joint that does some stuff. So you can spin them all the way around. That's nice. And considering it's just a little accessory, it's, it's good to have this kind of range on him. It's totally unexpected. And then he can spin at his base, which is good, but it also comes out. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Now <laughs> we're talking. <laughs> it's a little bit different. What am I doing? Why am I wasting time? And why are you watching this? Uh, obviously the tread doesn't move. He's not a real robot, okay? So it doesn't work. We've got the Mouser, which is uh, also pretty basic. He's got some head twisting, so it's just a really basic ball joint, but it gives it exactly what this Mouser should get. And then the mouth, which opens, and you can, you can actually see some details in there. And the legs, which have multiple points of articulation, which is very surprising, and they do rotate on the sides. So this is actually really, really good as far as, you know, the articulation out of this thing was totally unexpected because I've never played with one before. Mm, played with one because these are toys, okay? Anything else that articulates that you all wanna... Oh, the turtles? Okay, yeah, good point. So the bandanas do swivel all the way around. Um, you can get them to kind of twist the different directions. Let me adjust the camera, man. What is this? My first day? So you can actually, no, I adjusted it wrong. I don't know what I'm doing here. So you can actually move the bandana around. It wiggles a little bit, so you can have it whatever direction you want. And then the head, obviously, spins all the way around. No problem. Does he look down? Quite a bit. Looks up pretty good, which is great because he's so tiny. So he's going to want to look up at other characters. And then you got this side tilt. The arms can spin all the way around and then they can come out into a T pose, which is good, and then they do rotate at the shoulder. But there's no elbows, because that would be insane. The legs actually go out into full splits, so that's pretty cool. And then, because they're on a little tiny, little tiny little baby ball joint, they can actually spin all the way around. Again, no articulation at the joint of the knee, because again, how could they? But they still manage to get little feet, the little feet to move. <laughs> So it goes about, that's about flat really, right? That's not up. And then they go down so that you can actually have them. Oh, that's cool. So they go down pretty well, but they don't really go up at all. At least not before you feel like you might break it. And then they do not spin. Ooh, so they're just really basic. So be careful with these tiny little, oh no, wait, look. So they do kind of do that basic ankle rotation so that's cool so if you're moving the legs and you need them to be flat you might be able to twist that foot and that leg around to get the feet to be flat but again i hear and see now that they are probably not going to stand very well and then all the turtles do exactly what i just did so replace donatello with your favorite one which is the wrong one sorry it's not donatello either which one is it uh, so that's articulation, which means we get into, from here, the posing segment, which will be weird, and I can do some stuff. It's gonna be fun. I don't expect anything crazy. Maybe it'll be crazy. Stick around, we'll find out.
All right, so there's the accessory pack. What a fun little set. Uh, again, if you don't have the other figures that some of this goes to, it's maybe not as enjoyable for you, like for me. But the stuff that I do like, like the little turtles, fantastic. So let's get into rating these guys, right? Or all of it. Details. I mean, details are wonderful. They're fantastic. I would give it a five out of five. And I will. I would and I will. And I, and I just did. <laughs> As far as articulation, I, that might not even really be a category right now because it's all super basic. We're just kind of limited to the Turtles and Big Mac, but I don't know. What, a two out of five for these guys? Big Mac's maybe a three out of five. For what he is, you're getting more than you expect, but the articulation on these, obviously there's really nothing. Two out of five is probably best. So we'll, I, whatever, whatever I put on the screen, that's how we're gonna rate it. So that brings us to posing, which again, I mean, it's an accessory set. I don't even know why I would be ranking this part, but it was fun to do. So I still did it. As far as accessories go uh, with posing, <laughs> obviously you need the other figures. You need the big boy turtles for the video game system to really make sense. Cause these guys, their little hands don't grip it and they really can't even sit down and, and pretend to play with it. So uh, it's kind of some missed opportunities with that. So, uh, but, but, but I guess I'm not gonna rank it. So forget all the ranking, forget it. We'll just talk, the details. the only thing we need to talk about. So it's it's great. What really matters is $60. Is this set worth $60? I'm gonna say yes, based on everything that's in there. You get a lot of stuff. And if you are trying to build like a little diorama or sewer layer and all that stuff, then it's gonna be nice to have these things like the TV stuff. For anyone that doesn't have all the figures, you're not, you don't have Baxter, you don't have the Rat King, then maybe this is like a little weird. You're kind of like, ah, is anybody just selling me the good stuff, <laughs> right? So the good stuff being the turtles, the TV, the gaming system, and maybe the backpack. And then, you know, Big Mac is good, but the, the, the base of this set really is the Turtles, the TV, and the gaming system, in my opinion. So would it be worth $60 then? I don't think so. But if you want everything, then yeah, it's definitely worth it. And then these little turtles are just too cute to pass up. But yeah, they don't, you can't really do anything with them. I don't know how I'm gonna display them because standing them up without some kind of like tack stuff or whatever to put on their feet, they just fall over. So putting them even here, any vibration is just gonna knock them right over. But in the end, great set, love it. If you can get a hold of one, I hope that you can. Best bet at this point, if you don't have some friends hunting for you, oops, <laughs> then target.com during the first four weeks of this month of March of 2023 and holothon.com will be your best bets to get them online. So international people, I know, it sucks, it's tough. They're gonna have to pay a lot of shipping on all this stupid crap that we all want. It's not really stupid because we want it. So we love it. It's good stuff. What's wrong with me? Anyway, love it. Love the stuff. Love the show. Things that I do here. I couldn't do any of this stuff without all of you all. So thank you so much for coming along and <laughs> dealing with me as I seem to get weirder with every single video. So, hmm, like a couple months from now, it's going to be strange. But thank you all. And if you enjoyed this, then please watch this one because it's very relatable, isn't it? What did I put there? Huh. We'll see you next time.